I know that love carries no, she carries no guarantees. Dan Fogelberg, one of the most popular singer-songwriters of the past decade, is touring the country this summer literally as a one-man band. With his acoustic guitar in hand, Vogelberg is dusting off some of his older songs and performing solo. I've read where you've said that this summer's tour is for the old fans. Now, as one of your old fans, what do I have to look forward to tonight? Being an acoustic show, it's going to be a softer show. I mean, there's no way I can do a lot of the rock and roll tunes without the band, which we did last summer. We had a ball playing rock and roll all last year. So this year, I decided I'd just do the opposite and go back and, uh, you know, people, you know, during the rock and roll show were yelling for stars and to the morning and all this stuff. So uh, I decided I'd just do one that way this summer. One man and one instrument in concert halls usually occupied by rock bands can be challenging, but Dan somehow manages to maintain the small club atmosphere. It still carries that intimacy. Part of that, I think, is the, the responsibility of the audience. And my audiences are very, very polite. I mean, they're, they're there to listen. You know, a lot of people who come to the show are, are astonished that an outdoor gig of this size can be this quiet and this attentive, an audience can be this attentive. So I, I greatly appreciate it when they do. There's, there's a few rowdy ones, and those are fun <laughs> too, you know, but uh, for the most part, it's a good exchange. Now let me love Look at the moonless night And tell me How do we make love stay? I think people pay their money out here, and it's a lot of money these days, and go through a lot of trouble to get to these concerts, and I think I owe them to play them what they want to hear. And what they want to hear are the ballads, the kind that gave Dan his singer-poet image. I have the image of the sensitive singer-songwriter, that, that a lot of my music is sad, therefore I must be a sad person. Well, I certainly am not. I have a wonderful life, a great ranch in Colorado. Things just couldn't be nicer. I'm very appreciative for all that has happened. But uh, that, those songs really don't reflect me. They reflect one small part of me. Dan's artistic abilities are not limited strictly to music. He's also an accomplished painter whose works have graced his albums over the years. His latest endeavor is a book of photography. Painting is something you have to do every day. It's an exercise that you have to keep up. Whereas photography, I can take my cameras on the road, I can work on days off or wherever I travel, take it home, go in the dark room and work with it. With his 12th album on the horizon, it's hard to tell just which direction Dan's music will take us. It's important to me to keep jumping around and moving and trying things because it keeps it interesting for me. I don't want to just keep peddling the same pop format. You know, in this business, most people find one little click, they get a hit record, and they beat it to death for the rest of their lives. Well, I'm not interested in that. I didn't get into this business for that, and I, I won't do that. You know, it's up to the artist to make things change. And these days, everybody seems to be afraid to change try something new, take a risk. What is something that you would consider risky right now in your career? <laughs> Playing here tonight. <laughs>